Hey, welcome back! Just a quick update to talk about a few recent MPW news. Number one, very importantly, they just announced forming a joint venture and basically selling about 886 million worth of assets as well as securing an almost 200 million financing. This is exactly what they have to do to deal with the debt. This isn't the first time they do that this year and they are confident that they will exceed the 2 billion target in liquidity transactions this year. If they keep doing a few more transactions like this and refinance a bit of the debt, that's it. The main thing that was behind the crash in the past couple of years is over. Keep in mind that all the short selling and the panic was not only because the tenants have issues but it's that in relation to the upcoming debt. And also very importantly, these transactions prove that the estimated value of the assets has uh, so far been correct with some of this even being sold at a profit before. I know that this was worrying some of you in the comments and I have to agree, but so far every deal that they've made in the past years proved them right. This is a bit old and they are probably going to provide an update soon, but it's good enough. So last year is paid, this year was already covered and so far they've made almost enough to offset 2025 as well. If they sell 2 billion of assets this year and 2 in the next, they can probably easily refinance like a billion or use the revolving credit facility, which they pay by that time, plus the AFFO to pay the rest. And that's pretty much it, they would be in a much better position with a very manageable amount of debt. Another recent update comes from their number one tenant, Steward. They agreed to sell a part of the business about half a month ago, assuming that it gets approved. It's an undisclosed amount and it's almost for sure not enough, but it's something. Again, this is basically mandatory if they want to survive. And finally, they announced that they will pay a 15 cent dividend again. That's an over 14% dividend yield and we know that they can do more once the debt issues are dealt with. And this gets me to the short interest again. With about half of the float being shorted, it would take 9 days to cover all of that, so if there is a recovery, it can easily be huge. So the risk of shorting is way way bigger than the reward. I get doing it at 20, but at 5 or 4 it's literally fear of missing out. Think about it, if you are correct and it goes bankrupt, you pretty much double your money or less after the fees, but if you aren't, you can lose 2, 3, 4, 5 times your money. I can't get why you would accept such a bad risk and reward. So overall quite a few very positive developments and if they keep it up, they are on the path to a very nice recovery. But despite all the good news, the stock is pretty much flat, even though they and some of the tenants are in a much better position than 2 months ago. But again, it's also a matter of interest rates and other factors. You can watch more detailed MPW videos on my channel. As always, what I cover in my videos shouldn't be enough for you to make any investment decision, so please do your own research before investing in anything. If you want to see more videos like this one, please leave a like and even a comment to help me out and make sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.